Hello, 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 my lovely people, and welcome back to Addie's World. My name is Aideen. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If not, and this is your first time, sit down, relax, grab a drink, stay till the end of the video. If you like what you see, maybe think about hitting the subscribe button and making sure your bell is on for all upcoming notifications. Guys, today is part two. I'm gonna stop yapping, I'm gonna jump straight in. Okay, okay, people. So, I have my makeup done. What I said it was part two. You know, it's time to put our feet back on the ground with Made by Mitchell. This palette is called Feet on the Ground. Now, if you haven't seen my last video about heads in the clouds, I will link it up here. If you haven't, if you haven't seen the other one, I'm doing a little series. I have three palettes from him. I've done the first one, this is my second one, and I do also have the mini palette as well that I will do a separate video on, but I also have one of those for the upcoming giveaway. So I like to do giveaways, and this will probably be going up Sunday or Monday. Uh, you have till Thursday to enter in last this month's giveaway technically and it's a massive giveaway i will link the video up here that you have to just like comment and subscribe to it's a mystery box unboxing so if you're interested in winning a massive giveaway follow that video up there but however today we're doing this and i'm hoping and praying it's a little bit easier than the last one so again guys haven't even opened it so by the way, I kind of look like a Pugsley today because Ireland went from pissing raining to absolutely sweltering. So, you know, yay. So, here we have it. From what I learned about his palettes is they're actually quite easy to use. The colors can be scary. I will give it that. The colors are scary and they probably take a bit of a while to get used to. But the pigment, the quality, the shadows are amazing. Okay, so I have my base makeup done today. I did it in advance today because there wasn't much fallout the other day, only with the shimmery colors, so I know myself what to be prepared for. So, oh, what's this one like? Oh, hello, hello. Um, okay, this one is beautiful. You've got some of your greens, got your vibrant, <laughs> vibrant, uh, fluorescent colors here they have this color here it's called tiger lily this one looks beautiful stop focusing on me this one here looks beautiful you've got your purples you've got your shimmers here this one's gorgeous this one scares me there are just three shimmers in it like look at those bad boys they look amazing they look amazing am i going to play with them i'm gonna try rather than wasting time and all that jazz i think we should just get into it again excuse the hair lads it's freshly washed and it's wild Wild. With all his palettes, they do come in these really cool pouches for storage. And they're really good quality. Even the mini ones came in it. So really, really impressed. Of course, I will be using a mixture of his brushes as well as my Cash Beauty brushes. So, you know, and like usual, I will do one on camera, one off camera and see where we stand. I am going to try to turn to the side so you can see me a bit better but I did manage to get a remote control for my camera. <gasps> what do I want to do? I kind of went bluey yesterday, so I think today is the day for purples. Yes, yes it is. So I'm probably gonna stick, gonna stick to maybe around here. Delve into a few different colors. The yellows, I don't think I can manage just yet, just yet. But there is a beautiful color here called ground, which just looks like it's gonna be a beautiful transition color. It's kind of a, brownie pink don't judge that's what i call it anyway so eyes are primed and we're just going to go in and i'm starting this one high up now there is a good fallout there is a good fallout on that one i hope you can see it but again guys doesn't bother me i just do your eyes first is what i live by so it's not like i'm going anywhere today anyway so <laughs> Look at that. Just use the big fluffy, the K06 from Cash Beauty and just really soften that up and just bring it up slightly a bit higher. But just soften the top of it without kind of taking too much of the 
color away. Okay, that color is beautiful. That color is really, really beautiful just for transition. Or even if you were doing a spotlight, pop that in the center, a bit of sparkle over. I'm still gonna put some more on though. I actually think this one is your ME1. I actually think this is great for getting into, really in depth into the crease. So if I want to buff it up higher, that's fine. But to give the kind of deep in your socket, just to give it kind of, well, I feel, I don't know if this is true or not, but I feel it almost, if I go deeper in here, it gives it a bit of shape and maybe a shadow that gives it a little bit extra definition. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like I'm almost carving out my socket. And then just buffing it up slightly higher due to not having hooded eyes. Apparently. Now I'm gonna dip into the one beside it. It kind of petrifies me a little, but it's called Tulip, but it's C H E W L I P. And just it's just a kind of a coolish purple, kind of aubergine colour. So just kind of want to bring it down just a little bit lower. And I'm actually gonna use my Scott Barnes one for this. By the way, I don't know how or why, but I do have an affiliate code for Scott Barnes. I'll pop it down below, but I don't know how. <laughs> Oh, I have it. This is just the 62. The only reason I ever bought this was from Tati and her reviews. She loves this and it actually is great for getting in. So I, again, I'm just going below that shadow. I try to create going into the corner and just going slightly lower than that kind of. There's my shadow, but I'm just slightly taking it down just a different, just like taking it down just a little step. Because to be honest, I want to try something new and I just want to darken it closer to the edge because I can and I want to. I actually do find this brush quite good for, um, I wouldn't be the best at creating kind of straight lines here, so I just kind of cheat a little. But yeah, I don't know how I got that or why I was given that, but. Now them two colors are working actually beautiful together. Uh, like they, you didn't think they'd look okay together, but they actually are. And I'm taking teeny tiny amounts of this because I know from the last video they're pigmented. So I have no question that these are going to be pigmented, but I don't think I want to go for that such a strong look today. just kind of want to be cute and romantic about it. Might just take that slightly higher here just to give the actual shape of my eye. You see, because apparently I don't have hooded eyes, I can go up a bit higher. Like my eye isn't fully hooded, but it's not normal. So I, if I take it slightly higher up here, when I open my eyes, you can still see it. So that's the way it was explained to me when I did my Cash Beauty kind of consultation, that if I just take it slightly higher, it still gives my eye a little bit of shape. So I always feel like I'm taking it really high. And then when I see it back, I'm like, I can't really see it. So I'm trying something new. And I mean, I know these palettes are really colorful and really playful, but sometimes it's just nice to get kind of a nice natural look out of them. Like not an Instagram mad look, you know that kind of way. So you see my beat by me doing that slightly higher up, you still got a lot of my lid space. Like it still creates a lot of lid for me to work with. Now there is a super deep purple here which I am going to, which it is called a nude. And I'm just gonna pop that very, very, just near the waterline, barely. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna bring it slightly up, but I'm not gonna bring it any higher than, say, I'm not gonna bring it up to my crease or anything like that. I literally just want it there. And that's all I want. I don't want to blend it, well, I do want to blend it, but I don't want to take it up any higher. I just want to keep it as close as I can to my lash line. And by doing the work with the brushes on the outside, it just leaves as a really cute kind of haze of, you've got your straight line of your darker color, but just leaves a slight haze. So the kind of work is half done for you there. Now I could never do that. It's taken me a long time and I just try different things to just to try get the kind of shape that I want on the outside. Cause I know it's, for me personally, I can't do that stupid, that, um, triangle outside on, out here to make it so crisp and clean looking. So this is a way from doing the Kaylee MUA masterclasses as well, kind of her tips and tricks.
and just by keeping it so low it's not bleeding up into the other color so it does keep the concentrated of the dark low to the corner again i'm just using very very small amounts and building up because believe it or not people we're going to do cut crease now i just got something in the post there which i was super excited about i did end up buying a makeup palette like a mixing palette because i'm sick of using my hands for putting foundation and stuff on so or you know you've you find a piece of paper that you put your concealer on like it's just hard i find so i have bought literally got it off amazon guys so it's just a little plate guys to, and you get a little spatula and stuff but i actually don't need that at the moment i just need something to leave the concealer on so i can pick it up a little bit easier i'm just going in with the lunar beauty lb4 this is a tiny packer brush but it's also i have small lines so it actually is brilliant for doing cookies i'm trying to learn how to keep my eye open and do this I'm gonna go back into the dark purple just to kind of help clean up where I'm going to actually have to end up blending it. Yeah, that is how that is looking so far. So again, I like it. I'm just trying to decide what I'm gonna put in. This uh, just in the front. I think I'm actually gonna go with Ange Angelina, which is kind of a shifty pink sparkle here. Um, just to tie it all together. I actually really like this look. I really, really like it. Oh my God, I nearly picked the electric green. Whew, that would have been fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna dampen that. I'm gonna be really, and this could ruin it now, but I'm actually gonna pop this on my inner corner, and that is the shade Lemonade. Again, I stuck my fucking pen in, or brush into it. This could go to hell in a handbasket. Okay, I'm gonna finish off the other eye and come. And we are back, guys. So, I just did my second eye off, did a bit of liner, and then copy the colors underneath. Now, I am so happy with this look. This is me in an eyeshadow look. I did a lovely cut crease, the sparkle came beautiful on it, and it was just, how many colors did I use? Literally used four. Three mattes and a sparkle. So I actually have to say, I'm, I really, really like this look. I'm still conscious that if I take this higher, like I always feel like I'm taking it too high but when I look back at myself in pictures and stuff like that it doesn't look like it's too high so I hope it comes out but they are that is Suzy eyeliner and I didn't put on any lashes today because I just didn't want to <laughs> pure and simple but yeah that is how it looked at looked turned out I I actually really like this one I think I prefer feet on the ground over head in the clouds and that's purely because the muted colors in this speak to me now yes i will have to get more adventurous with the other one and that's why i have the two of them to plenty of practice with but for the time being i actually prefer this look over the other one well let me know let me know which one did you prefer down below guys this one or the previous video but yeah that is going to be the video today guys um yeah short and sweet just to kind of get us in the mood <laughs> Um, so I really, I really, 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 sorry, I'm gonna keep looking at myself in the viewfinder, but um, no, I actually really like that. Check me out posing. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think down below, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know, do you want a tutorial on the mini palette? Let me know down below as well. Uh, make sure you've liked, commented, and subscribed. Again, this will be going up Sunday or Monday. You have till Thursday to tell your friends, family, anyone about if they want to be entered into the giveaway. So if you've lasted this long, thank you so much for sticking with me today. Stay cool, stay calm, and wear your goddamn masks. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.